This is a superior view of the larynx. The top of the image is the back or posterior section. The bottom is the front or anterior section. The white bands in the shape of a V are the vocal folds. The cartilages at the top of the V are the arotenoids. The space between the vocal folds is called the rima glottidis. Now we're going to look at four things. Firstly, a breath hold. Now, a cough. <coughs> Next, a swallow. And finally, phonation. The vocal folds can open, which we call abduction, and is produced by the posterior cricoarotenoid muscles. The vocal folds can close, which we call adduction, and is produced by the lateral cricoarotenoid and interarotenoid muscles. The vocal folds can vibrate to create voice, which we call phonation. Notice the lengthening of the vocal folds as they glide from a low to a high pitch. You might also notice the larynx elevating as it moves closer to the camera with a higher pitch. Now notice that the covering of the vocal folds are called the mucosa and that it's forced into motion as the vocal folds vibrate. We call this the mucosal wave. For higher pitches, the vibrations are faster. For lower pitches, the vibrations are slower and of larger amplitude. To create voice, the intrinsic laryngeal muscles bring the vocal folds together. Voice is created as air from the lungs pushes through the closed vocal folds. As air passes through the vocal folds, they are pushed open from the bottom. Elastic recoil then sucks each section back together, which results in voice and this looks like a wave motion under stroboscopic light. In normal voice production, the vocal folds should create complete closure with no air escape. This makes it easy to sustain voice, change pitch and raise volume. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You may notice that the vocal tract can move to support voice. In this example, the pharyngeal wall is squeezing. <coughs> For high pitches, the larynx raises, moving closer to the camera and this is produced by the suprahyoid muscles. For low pitches, the larynx drops, moving further away from the camera, and this is produced by the infrahyoid muscles. Now let's look at some abnormal voice. The voice can become distorted if there is too much muscle tension. You may notice the ventricular or false vocal folds constricting, which limits visualization of the true vocal folds. It is difficult to change pitch and sustain voicing when muscle tension is present. One, two, three, four, five. Whisper involves a significant strain. One. Two, three, four, five. Raising volume can be difficult if there is a lot of strain in the larynx.
One, two, three, four, five. The voice can also become distorted if the vocal folds do not meet in the middle. And finally, it can be difficult to change pitch, sustain voicing for long periods, and raise volume with a breathy voice. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. To summarize then, breathing, abduction, adduction, phonation, lengthening the vocal folds. Shortening the vocal folds. Muscle tension. Incomplete phonatory closure. Use of the vocal tract. And that completes our brief video demonstrating main functions of the larynx during voice production.